hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so if you're new here if you can subscribe and like my channel it will be a great help for you especially if you're an engineer so today i'm gonna do tutorial 8 which is dynamic analysis of a generator on an elastic foundation so first of all what's the purpose of this tutorial the purpose of this tutorial is to see what will happen when you have uh, a vibrating force which is a dynamic force generated by the generator in this case it is a harmonic force so the damping in this tutorial will be taken in consideration via the Rayleigh damping uh, parameter and also due to the wave propagation we'll have a uh, boundary condition and we'll try to leave the boundary as far as possible from the generator so in this tutorial we're going to draw the quarter of the generation uh, generator to uh, in order to have a faster calculation so as you know because it's a uh, advanced tutorial i'm not going to draw it it's easy to draw you can see the geometry model here definition of the stratigraphy and the structural elements too and here is a dynamic multiplier so i start we made the borehole and everything here we put the structure we put a line and then we put uh, the surface load so here the surface load you can go to the dynamic multiplier or you can add one here in my case i'll edit my dynamic multiplier i'll go to here well, I press on edit here I can see the harmonic signal or I can add one from the table that's the good thing with Lexus you can add, you can add uh, any vibration you want here we're gonna put 10 the phase is 0 the, the frequency is also 10 so this is the dynamic multiplier and this is it for the structure and soil now we're gonna go to stage construction so I've also made the calculation to save some time in the initial phase we're gonna leave it as it is then in phase one we're gonna activate the surface load and we're not gonna activate the dynamic load in phase two we're gonna in the deformation control we're gonna select the displacement to zero I'm gonna put the steps here and then there's the phase three where we're gonna put the boundary condition so let's see them phase one we can see the surface load activated except the dynamic load in phase two is activated and in phase three if they we've taken in consideration uh, the boundary is here and the model condition here the dynamics and here's the boundary so and the x direction the minimum is none as for the y because it's symmetrical here it's uh, uh, the x max and the y max it's viscous di uh, vis uh, it's viscous um, and this is that direction it's also the same so we can go and see the results here so as you can see what happened to the soil we can see the deformation uh, we can see the total displacement here Okay, to see the total illustration, we're gonna make a section. So here, in order to do an analysis, you should generate a curve. Let's say it's time, dynamic time, and uh, I'm gonna go to the node. Say the deformation, total displacement. You're gonna press on OK. You can see how it goes here. And here, when we turn off the generator, so here we put it to 
0 0.5 seconds after 0 0.5 seconds the generator is off so this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching